Um, Look, the first Fox big noon kick of the season, it's week one. Neil Brown and the West Virginia Mountaineers host the Penn State team uh, that has some incredibly high expectations coming into Morgantown. Nitty Lions are a 10.5 point road favorite at BetUS. The total sits at 51.5. This is a fun helmet battle for sure. Kyle, uh, what, what's your favorite between these two? I know Penn State has a classic helmet, but I like the West Virginia helmet better. I'm going to go with the Mountaineers. All right, Parker, you? If it's the West Virginia one with West Virginia on it, the state, I like that one. But I think it's hard to argue if we're talking about classic helmets, you know, Penn State overall. All right. I am a traditionalist. I will take Penn State in that classic white with the blue stripe. So uh, two two to one Penn State, right? Penn State, look, last year beat West Virginia 38 to 15 last season, covered as a 21 point home favorite. Everybody talked about it because they had to score late in order to cover uh, James Franklin knows the spread. You guys know what's up this year. Nick Lions only a 10 and a half point favorite in Morgantown, but they are nine and one against the spread as a road favorite since 2020. West Virginia was only a home dog once last year. They won outright as a six point dog to Texas tech. Now under Neil Brown, West Virginia only, only six and seven against the spread as a home dog since 2019. And, Parker, you start us off here. Everybody is excited about the new Neatly Lions offensive coordinator, Andy Kotel, Nikki, but I want to see Tom Allen with his defense. Like West Virginia surprised everybody with a nine win season last year is 10 and a half crazy for week one or, uh, you know, too much, too little. What you got? I don't think so, because I think last year, West Virginia wasn't very good and they got some good scheduling breaks and they caught some teams at the right time. And I don't think Garrett Green, it really has much more in his game to elevate uh, overall. I think he's fine, but you kind of know what he is there. They do lose Zach Frazier on the offensive line, which really changes the dynamic of what they were able to do last year. I think this is a real prove it year for Penn State. You get a little breathing room without divisions and the expanded playoff to maybe make a little more national noise. Michigan's down, you know, so I, I, I expect Penn State to come out swinging. I think Drew Alar. Um, is a fine quarterback with Kotenecki. I think he's going to get a lot of more opportunities to go downfield. Everybody shared that clip about, oh, it was, you know, look at these misses in the spring game. And it's like a 70 mile an hour wind. And the whole point of that is like, he's working on timing. Like they're, they're practicing that and they're being more aggressive downfield. The whole thing last year at Penn State is they weren't throwing the ball downfield. James Franklin was getting asked about it and talking about speaking Japanese in reply last year, uh, whatever that meant. But uh, I, I do think they'll be more aggressive and fun on offense in a position to leverage their talent advantage much more. And West Virginia really gives them an opportunity to um, play around and sandbox with some of that. Note that Neil Brown did not get extended. Neil Brown traded years for buyout in his contract. If that tells you anything, read between the lines about what West Virginia thinks about him long term. Yes, uh, Kyle. Over to you. Neil Brown did turn things around nine win season and nobody saw that coming. Should Penn State be worried about upset potential here? Brown did a great job last year. I kind of like to root for Neil Brown. Um, he's he's a quality coach. Uh, I think the question mark is green. I mean, green did have great numbers by PFF last year. 90.9 PFF grade. That was ninth best in the country. The offensive line is really good for West Virginia. The question is, does that matter as much against Penn State? Penn State's defensive line is amazing. Uh, I think Tom Allen, really good defensive mind. Penn State, 111 tackles for a loss last year. That's fantastic. Um, Secondary lost some good cover guys, but I trust them to still be solid. Penn State's offense is kind of the must watch. Can Kotal Nicky deliver right away? Alar, very highly touted. He wasn't good in the big games last year. His PFF grades in the big games, Ohio State 50.4, Michigan 53.9, even the Ole Miss game 64.0. So he has to improve quite a bit. I think he will improve a decent amount. Uh, We'll see how much. My early lean in this game would be the under, although uh, you guys know this. uh, Taking the under in James Franklin games is scary because you never know what's going to happen in the last couple minutes. I personally want to see Drew Aller and uh, in the new Penn State offense, but I, I don't think Penn State will necessarily need that here. Uh, on the other side, I mean, do we think Garrett Green's going to be able to do big things against this Penn State defense? He he didn't last year. It was in game one, but, you know, we didn't really see Green against really strong defenses. Uh, West Virginia, I mean, they got some big play wide receivers in Hudson Clement and uh, the Oklahoma State transfer, Jalen Bray. Uh, Penn State replacing all three starting corners from last year, but they do have both safeties back. Like, I, I'm curious, right? Abdul Carter in that Penn State defensive line going up against a, a Mountaineer offensive line that's got three starters back. My number on this is 9.6. Uh, just going on gut, I kind of think Penn State wins this one by two touchdowns. Uh, but we will, we will see what happens here.